For the motor module, we're going to remove first the lens, the fascia, and top cover. And then we're also going to remove the uh, valve. And then we're going to remove the belt as well, which we'll do in just a moment. Uh, first of all, we're going to remove the motor power connection from the control board. Then we're going to roll the belt off the drive shaft. And we're going to remove the two motor screws. And set those to the side. And then, of course, lift out the motor module. For servicing the motor, first we're going to lock the fan into position, and with a 7 16 or an 11 millimeter socket, we're going to turn the nut in here counterclockwise. And that's going to remove the fan nut and the lock washer. For servicing the motor, first we're going to lock the fan into position and with a 7 16 or an 11 millimeter socket, we're going to turn the nut clockwise to remove. And with this being a new unit, I'm able to lock the fan in position just with my hand. I'm going to remove the nut. And for removal of the fan housing from the motor, you can use a puller and we're going to have some information and some instructions provided on how to fabricate your own puller. This being a relatively new unit, I should be able to get this fan and fan housing separated from the motor. And again, this being a relatively new unit, I'm able to easily separate the fan housing and fan from the motor. But again, we'll provide some instructions on facilitating or fabricating your own puller for making that easier for units that have been in use in the field. Remove and inspect the detent ring from the old motor and if free from defects, apply to the new motor along with a felt seal and shaft washer.